is up everyone welcome back to another episode of pretty smart sports my name is caleb and today we're talking about football and talking about offensive personnel groupings and what we're going to actually cover today is 20 personnel now this is a personnel grouping that is actually pretty unique so we got a lot to learn so what is 20 personnel 20 personnel is when the skill position players on the offense are made up of two running backs three wide receivers and zero tight ends since there are no tight ends on the field, you can't use them in their size as extra blockers in pass protection or in run blocking. But this package does allow the offense to have plenty of flexibility that can catch the defense off guard. It can be easy to throw out of this package due to the high number of receivers on the field, and it can also be used to run the ball by using read option plays. On read option plays, the quarterback starts by going to hand off the football to a running back. When he does this, an opposing linebacker or defensive end then has to react, choosing whether to move toward where it looks like the running back will go or to hesitate and follow the quarterback. The quarterback reads this defensive player and based on that defensive player's reaction, the quarterback will then decide whether to complete the handoff to the running back or keep the ball and run up the field himself. Read option is used quite a bit in both high school and college football but it has seen increased usage in the NFL due to its effectiveness. For instance, the Kansas City Chiefs have often used read option plays with Patrick Mahomes around the goal line or on crucial third and fourth downs. Now, on passing plays, the running backs can be used in a variety of ways, whether that means running routes and catching passes, or staying in to block for the quarterback, picking up incoming blitzers and keeping them from getting a sack. So really, 20 personnel allows an offense to do a lot of different things, and it can really catch an opposing defense off guard. If you want to continue to learn more about offensive personnel groupings and more about the sport of football and some of your other favorite sports, please subscribe to our channel, and also please like and comment as well. Go check out our Twitter and follow us there so you can stay up to date with everything that we're doing, and check out our other channel, Fantasy Tomorrow, where we're giving you all the information that you need to win your fantasy football league. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.